Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. But this will be the last one until tomorrow. I know we have a lot of horrors of this year. I'm trying to beat this year of the 2024. Before the year, that the new year begins at 2025. Let's see what else we can bring home. Now, from this video, I'm going to tag two people in this video, which is Jim, of course, and the guy who created YouTube on YouTube. Because I like to go and search some people for horror films, which I am a huge fan of. I'm a obsessed with horror. If you see my shirt, do you think I need new ones from Bloody Disgusting t-shirts from horror? Let me know. I can pick them up. And it's very tight right now with money. The third is on a Sunday, so we're hoping to get it on Friday. And then I will let everybody know what I'm about to pick up in the month of November. I found my list and then I'm going to give it to my mom. Maybe she can give me a little surprises. Until then, we can do the, the other list for my birthday next year, which is coming up. I know, guys, I know. I'm going to make a list for every each birthday. For the YouTubers out there. Now you know I can't sing, which I know I, I, I can't sing, but I am going to wish everybody a birthday on YouTube. So. I know I'm a little tad late on here. It is coming up on 10. I'm just going through a lot here. Ooh. I need to get that soon. Tony has been doing the um, short videos, but I will go back and do a thousand more of short videos on my I just can't do it on this phone right now because I'm, I'm using it for other things. So, 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 so far, let's go ahead and dip right in on this stack of movies from my favorite horror and the ones I need to watch. Now, from this stack, from everybody, YouTubers, my subscribers, and viewers. The viewers is on on the gray spot going down. So let's make sure we can we get my viewers go up in green. Let me go there real quick. If you see the little dot next to the viewers, it's going down. But make sure you go there and see what the viewers are up to. You see the little dot there next to the viewers? Let's see if that changes. Let's see for the subscribers.
it's plus 15 and it's gray and then the arrow is pointing down as well. So let's go ahead and change that up, everyone. So let's see if I can go up in the green. So if that is better. So I'm letting you know now because I have to get more subscribers in. Now I'm at the best one right now of the subscribers. It finally went up today at 8.54. Thank you everybody. And I did subscribe everyone in the whole section of the movies, of their channels. So let's see if we can try to get to 900 subs. Unless in a month or so. So, yeah. When I'm going to tag YouTube on my video tonight, <clears throat> I'd like to know, um, I, I'm trying not to get any copyrights from the playlist of the music or the TV has music as well. I like to turn all the captions off of the copyrights in the videos that I am making. So, let's try to not do any more copyrights. I'm trying my best to stay on the YouTube because I have amazing collection. I'm making a tons of videos. I'm still at 1.2k and I'd like to change that 1.2k. Let me go ahead and check that out real quick. So let me go ahead and check that out real quick. I am so proud of um, Sue over Movies and Sue. She did a um, store credit. I am so proud of her to get her car back. Sue, I am amazed with you. You did excellent job on your web de de debit. Debt. Debt. There you go. Yes. Yeah, try not to use that card as any excuse. Because you're doing so well. And you're coming along very good. So stay strong. Get your chin up. We are here for you soon. So thank you so much for that. You're, you're an amazing girl. We love your channel, so and I'm not just saying that. I'm just saying that for half everybody on YouTube. Congrats, Movies in Two. So, yes, I'm still at 1.2K. So, we are here for you, Sue. So. So keep up your good work. I'm glad you got your car back. 
good job of paying off that debt. I'm glad you, you got your car back. My flying colors. I'm glad you, you got just of what you wanted for all those movies. And I wish we have swap meets here. I do wish we had some bull moves around here. Uh, hunting books. Um, Substation Army, but I doubt there's any local ones in Houston. We do have five, but it, it's like not that close where we, we live. So, can't go to that one. So, I'm going to the other stores. I'm hoping to go to the Dollar General next to the Wings place. Maybe we can take a little joy ride over there and see what they have. I would love if I go to the Bull Moose. And I wish I can meet up with uh, Scott, um, Tony, uh, who else, who else, Steve, Jeff. So we can have our little own video together. Stephanie, of course, Jim, so we can all mingle and do it, the same thing, but I doubt that's going to happen in my neck of woods. So, 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 let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, I've seen this one. You guys will see this more and more. I try to pick out different ones for Halloween and watch them. This is A24. And it's Maxine from Pearl and IT West. I'm hoping to re watch this one. I think this one is better than the, the last three pearls put together. It's from Maya Goth. She is one of the best um, performance in the movies of Maxine um, so far. So I'll let you know that. The last time um, I picked out the four movie collection of uh, Bad Boys is because that way I know what, what to watch from the Bat Boys in the Blu-ray section. Bat Boys 1, 2, and then For Life, and then Ride or Die. So you can see right here, I switched the movies up because I like this way better. So I'm not sure which one I'm about to watch yet, but I'm hoping soon or later to watch. Will Smith I like in Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I'm gonna make that list in the ones that I have been missing in my entire collection over the year. That way my parents can figure it out something out. Martin Lawrence, I like him in the series of Martin. He is, I just dislike him in that one better. I like the uh, TV series of Martin. I like that. It's amazing. So maybe I will try to watch some of these movies right here on Blu-ray. I need to get to Law Lake from Nicholas Cage. I have several, several movies of Nicolas Cage's movies in the collection. And I need to get on the low lengths here. 
I have seen the 4K. I wish I had got to the uh, Deadpool and the Rebel Ring to give it to my dad. I didn't know at the time, but I should did that. But let's see what we, is going to happen when I get my fan mail before the, the year ends. So if I can like this one, maybe I'll like the one in the birthday better. But let's go ahead and take a chance to check out the Blu-ray app first. I know some of these are long. I probably stay up late at night to watch these movies because they are recommend ones. Recommendations, the best seller ones. I got some Amazon good choices. And Walmart ones as well. So maybe we can go ahead and check the blow away. No, I know I'm going to do this more than ever. Which one that everybody, I know this is a DVD, uh, has anyone recommend to watch Violent Nature? Let me know down in the comments, please. It's a shadow release. We all know I'm a, I'm a sucker of good uh, shutter movies. I will show off each one of them as soon as possible. I heard good things about Baghead. It's also a shadow release. This is only the two that I could afford that week. At Walmart, I do apologize for that copyright. Again, I'm going to tag YouTube on the channel of this video. So I don't have any copyrights. And, and the YouTube can help me where to um, get the captions off of the copyright. So let me know which one do you think I should watch. Did anyone recommend Backhead or Violet Nature? I'm going to go ahead and upgrade these to Blu-ray. That's why I get DVDs first and see what everybody is talking. Let them talk. Just let everyone talk. That's the whole thing about horror movies. I love you guys. You mean the world to me. And I'm glad you guys are doing this for me. So keep on walking, YouTube. Next, we got Ungentlemanly Warfare by Guy Ritchie. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm, I'm hoping I will before the, the new year ends. Do you think I should be watching this? This is from Black Bear. Never heard that one before for a boutique label. So what, so what, what do you think everybody is um, thinking about Ross here? What are your thoughts on him? Some of them are toast for myself. Some of them I do want um, everyone to let me know to recommend and re recommendations and new releases for every each movie. So, so far I got that. Stephen King's my favorite of all time movies is uh, The Mist. I, I think I have watched it or I have not. But I'm going to go ahead and take a chance to check it out. Now you know me, I'm a, a sucker obsessed with Lionsgate these days.
So I prefer the Blu-rays of the Mist, not the 4K, because the 4K does not play on my Blu-ray player. So Sam King is also one of my favorite directors. Now we have the original of Bad Boys. I watched it the first time and then I fell asleep. Let me go ahead and turn this down. Now we have both movies in here. We have the alligator for the 4K and then the two boys are for Blu-ray. That's why I, I like the 4K transfer when it comes to the 4K release and then the Blu-ray next to it. So keep up the work, everyone. I do appreciate everyone is helping me. I am so glad. So, yes, it's hard for me to understand movies, but it's been a what a heck of a year, everybody. A heck of a the year for Shock October. It's been a fun ride. But it's going to be a whole lot more roller coaster. Now, some of these I got a long time ago. I haven't seen these one since I got it. Ghost Team 1. What do y'all think? I haven't seen it yet. This is 2013. I got like a lot of these movies. Um, the last time we have Goodwill, Dollar Tree, Walgreens, Walmart, Dollar General, uh, Dollar General, uh, Family Dollar, and something from my, my last family. I won't get, keep saying that. I haven't seen this one yet in such a long time. I heard the secret one is a pure comedy gold. Brilliant. A Moose the Dead. Let me know about your comments on that one. Uh, I didn't mean to get on this one. We got The Last Night in Soho. Of course, Anna Taylor Joy in this one. Thomason McKenzie. One hour and 57 minutes. We got DVD in Blu ray. It actually is called Blu ray and DVD. So yeah, if I see that it is a Blu-ray and DVD, I do that. Now, I, I, this is a vampire movie. I am obsessed with vampires. Since I made my other videos, um, I needed to get on this movie as possible. And it's called Rainfield. With Nicholas Nolt, Awega Finney, and Nicholas Cage.
I definitely need to check this one out. These are one hour and 33 minutes. And there's a half price box near us. But it's a little further out. I would love to go there again. I'm just switching the, the desk around. It's like I said, it says blu ray and DVD, not the other way around. So, we got Synthetic Panic with Hoppy Griffin, Ruby Modern. Jerry O'Connor is in this one. And with Becca. I heard that this is a good one. I haven't seen it yet. And there's also a RLJE Films. I get tons of those. And of course, I've got this flag right here. So, yeah. Let me know about this movie. Sacrifices must be made. So that's my first half of the stack. Two old movies, two of the new releases that week. Yeah, these are my top favorites. I have streamed this one last year. And it's a John Carpenter movie and Jimmy Lee Curtis. The, the original Halloween. It has to be my all-time favorite. It is a really good movie. Michael was a kid before he got older. Ghost Space is definitely my all-time favorite in the Scream franchise. I haven't um, streamed this one, but it, it was a pretty good, decent movie of last year. This is for Kate Owens. You know me, I'm always on my phone. Thank you. I will definitely check out your comments in just a few minutes. And he finally reached out to me, finally, over the years. I will check that in just a second. And of course, my all time favorite, John Kramer and Saw X. You know me, I'm a huge fan of Saw movies. I was surprised that A did that. Like, wow. So I'm hoping I did see this one sit through, and I'm glad I did. Now, Pope's Exorcist from Russell Crowe. Should I or shouldn't I go ahead and watch it anyway? Pope's Exorcist. I need to get the um, Exorcism. It's the opposite of this movie. 
is a Academy Award winner from Russell Crowe in 2000. Best Actor in... I have a ton of time here. Sorry, guys. Good later with Joaquin Phoenix. But the main character has to be Russell Crowe. He's the top notch in the DV like Day Benji Code, which I had that in the physical media section of DVDs. So, yes, please uh, leave me a, a comment down below with a uh, Pope's assist. This is why I'm a sucker with all of this. I'm sorry, it's, it's over 30 minutes. Now we have If We Did 1 and If We Did 2. Now, should I keep watching these through the year or should I keep uh, wait for uh, the new year? I love um, If We Did. I need the Evil Dead uh, still book. I definitely need to upgrade still book. Yes. This on here has a, um, this on the cover on the still book. I would love to have that. So all the years that Eddie has been not, a, not uncomfortable with me, but he has a girlfriend, but I had tried to communicate with him, with him over a year ago. Because he does have the best lectures, great content of his channel, along with Jim's channel, of uh, uh, Jim's movie channel. This is by Sammy Remy. This is uh, part two of the Ever Dead. And I'm hoping to rewrite some of these. And I'd love to get this on the other dead, um, case. So let me know down below what, what you think about these. Yes, I know it's, it's almost time to walk, but I'm, I'm almost through this video, so bear with me. Like, wow. Let me just see what he wanted. Let me just go ahead and um, let me just go ahead and comment one of his comments real quick. We're, we're almost through, guys. We don't have that much but in a few minutes now. Wow, of all the years that Eddie and I I miss him back to me and I'm glad he did. And I'll check out the others just a second. I'm sorry if I'm on my phone too much. We had potassium with Don Cars Carlos. I had this from last year Halloween. 
Should I watch this one? We have a potassium, we have steamed. Put two, three, four, and five. We have his movies right here. We have another director, Stephen King, from Dead Zone. Amazing movie. I need to rewatch. It's a Screen Factory, no, yeah, Screen Factory with uh, Shout Studios. There's no art if this book won't work. This is the, yeah, yeah, this is for kind of blow away. Amazing work there. So I may want to check this one out myself. I don't know how long this is. It's back in 83. Another one. We got the Boogeyman. I have seen this one last year as well. From the 80s. And then we need Pit Cemetery 2. I have not got the 2 yet. But you guys, it's going, this is going to be a little big. I'll put them aside just a few minutes. I don't have the part two yet from Pet Cemetery yet. Let me know if I found this one. 1989. I think I, I watched this one, or it's the original one of 2003. Let me know down below. Should I watch screen box um, documentaries? This is the first one I got in the collection from Pennywise. And I need some more docu uh, documentary movies. So let me do it down below and tell me what what your best and interest of all the movies that I've shown you. And what is your um, recommendation for the horror of this of this year to watch before the new year comes? So let me know down below. Thank you so much. I'm sorry this is a little longer than it should be. Um, so welcome to my channel everyone. I do have more Blu-rays and I do have tons and thousands of horror films and movies. So, do not forget to like and subscribe when you leave. Make sure you use those comments down below please. Make sure they're decent comments, not hateful or ugly. Anyway, that's it, everybody. So welcome. The the names that I uh, gave out there in the, in the community, and I see you guys in the next video. Let me know what's going on out there. So. Let me know if you recommend to watch Follow Nature Backhead. And I see you next time.